The athletes that clap the loudest were the ones that know the statute of limitations has run. So with that, those can continue eating. Um, I really want to thank the committee, Casey, Wally. I, I really am, am humbled by this on something that has really just been something that my father and mother told me to do when I left in 1979 to come down here. Uh, I really want to thank the city of Coral Gables, who I've been with for the last 25 years, 26 years. Uh, they've allowed me to continue to uh, do what I love, which is work with the student athletes at the University of Miami. Uh, I want to thank the athletic department and, and all of the staff members that I have worked with and, and, and been around for the last 25 years. Uh, a lot of those stories will remain with me and us as, between us as a family. And, and some more claps, some other people that are a little nervous. Um, as, as well as my family, my daughters and my wife who've allowed me to this travels for the last 25 seasons. And most importantly, the athletes, the ones that you want are here tonight and the ones that uh, are not up here but continue to move on. As well as some of my closest friends in the world, the coaches from all the sports that we've had. I'm honored to be here and recognized in the same breath as Tony Segreto, Jay Rokich, Clive McCoy, the late Sonny Hirsch, but more importantly, the woman that I've called mom for the last 25 years has been Myrna Schneider because she's the only one that has more time on the job than I have. And some of those conversations that her and I had outside the head coach's office in the football were, were legendary. And, and mom, I love you. Uh, we do have some angels looking down on us. So I'm just glad to be in the same sentence in recognition with you. As I said, I've met a lot of staff members over many years, and I've seen them come, and I've seen them go, and I've been friends with them. I will tell you all from somebody who's been uh, part of the quasi staff for the last 25 years, uh, I saw this young guy come in, another lady, another girl come in, work, its way, work their way through the athletic department, leave, and come back. I'm here to tell you from a perspective which means nothing more than I've been around these coaches and these athletic directors for a long time. I've seen some greats, the legendary Paul D., Sam Jankovic, just to mention a few. But I will tell you in my humble opinion that this department, this athletic program is going to go nowhere up because my friend and your athletic director, Blake James, is a cut above every other athletic director in the entire country and I know a few. Thank you, Blake. I appreciate it. And yes, I might have known that him and his wife were dating when they were here and they weren't supposed to, but that's another one of those little skeletons we have, but what a wonderful family. My mother and father told me before I left one simple thing before it was cliche. The reason why I've done what I've done is I want to pay it forward. That's what it's all about, paying it forward. It's what I've done every day and tried to mentor the student athletes. It was never a get out of jail card free. It was to try and mentor people on the unbelievable pressures that are gonna become upon them as, re as student athletes at this noble program. <clears throat> as I said, paying it forward also came with a lot of dual personalities. So there was the cop and the guy who's standing behind the head coach. And nobody said it better than Coach Morris one time and when I first started as people called me Forrest Gump in the 3030 because I had long hair in the beginning and gray and bald by the end of the movie. Um, but Coach Morris was watching one of the football games uh, and one of our boosters who was at his house said, who's that guy that's standing behind Coach Erickson? And Coach Morris looked over and said, that's the guy if you're a head coach you don't want a phone call from at two o'clock in the morning. That was it. So yes, I, I, and it's, it's been part of that. I will tell you what my honor is this. I have had a front row seat to the most spectacular athletic displays in the history of all sports. I mean, to sit here today and say that I've watched Lauren Williams work out from when she was a freshman to now being the world-class athlete that she is, as well as up here, is just amazing. And that's something I'll never get back, but it makes me who I am today and just proud to call you all my friends. So what I've said, yeah, you can let her have it. 
My wife and I have said we've had three families. We have the Miami-Dade County family where she works, the Coral Gables family where I work, and the University of Miami family. What has brought this all together for me was the University of Miami family. The last drink I had as a single man was tonight, because tonight's my anniversary. So 21 years ago, my wife said I do, right after I left Bill and Ted's and some of the coaches from spring practice. So we made it work. 21 years later, I'm still getting coaching tips on how to make it successful. Thank you, honey, I love you. And happy anniversary. And the University of Miami stigma continues because now uh, with a letter that my daughter got, I have the first member of the class of 2019 because my oldest daughter, Christina, will be here, so I'll be working for a guaranteed four more years. <clears throat> but most of all, I want to say I appreciate and what has meant the mess for me is working with the student athletes, working day and night to help them get through some of the most tumultuous times, both personally as a group, and that's just not winning or losing, that's learning how to be men and women. The success for me is to see them afterwards, not as successful athletes, but as successful members of society. See, tonight for me is about a recognition and honor that validates one thing for me, and that only you in this room will understand and our family around it. It's just a Keynes thing. Nobody else understands. Thank you all very much.